there, this is my, uh, the second part of my f general fire alpaca tutorial. Um, last time we covered, like, basically coloring and lining and basic stuff like that. Uh, this time we're probably gonna cover, like, shading and maybe blending. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll just do it when we get there because I'm not this is not scripted at all. This is just me improvising. So, um, yeah, uh, if you hadn't, if you haven't watched the first part, please, uh, just click on the annotation that's showing up on your screen right now, like magic. Um, and if you're on mobile, the a link to it will be down in the description. You should go watch that before you continue watching this, or you might be a little lost. But, basically, uh, okay, I'm really bad at talking, I apologize for that. Uh, let's start. Um, so, what we did last time is we drew this, and but we left it unshaded, and so basically it's just a flat color. So what you want to do is, you know, click on the color and then make a new layer. Uh, you can also rename the layers by double clicking clicking them, so you can name this one color, this one line art. Um, this is going to be the shading layer, so if you want to do that, I don't normally do this, but why not? And then you see this this box right here. You you check it so it's on clipping, so it's going to look like that. What this does is it clips this layer to this layer so everything you do see will be in whatever's here so if it wasn't a clipping layer that's what it would do see but clipping layer does that um so what and then so what you're gonna do is take what color you want to shade with so say we want to shade with a purple color with this this purple right here um normally i just eyeball my light source and stuff but i guess for this tutorial we'll just kind of make a new a uh, new layer and just doodle in where the light source is supposed to be i'm not v super good at that but you know i'm decent i guess as decent as it can, can be Basically, then just take the, take the color you want to shade with, and keep the light source in mind. And then, see this right here? It says blending. You It says normal, but what you want to do is click multiply. So, instead of it being this purple we chose, it'll be, it'll be darker, and it'll kind of blend with the color that you have. Um, so, once you got your light source and your color you want and you have it, all the settings set up, just keep in mind the light source, I mean, that's important, and just shade it in. I'll probably speed this up, yeah. Okay, so this isn't really my best, but it'll have to do. Um, so basically this is just a shaded lapis. Um, and you can adjust the opacity to make it look, you know, less intense or more intense. Um, I'm gonna put it at like a 52. Um... And basically, once you're done with that, 
if you want to just keep it as a flat shading, you can you can clean it up a bit if you want. Like make it look smoother with your eraser. But you know, if you just want to do flat shading without any blending, this is basically how you do it in Fire Alpaca. Um, and then you can merge the layer if you want, which is probably what we're gonna do when it comes to blending. But we're not there yet. We gotta do lighting first. So make another layer, make it a clipping layer, lighting. You don't have to name it, but and then in the blending option will be um screen. Uh, so if you want, you can take the same color you use to shade, or you can make a lighter color. I mean, I, I honestly, a lot of the times, I, it changes for me. Like, sometimes I alternate and make it a bit lighter because the purple looks too purple. Um, so I'm going to just make it a little lighter, yeah. And just do, most of, most of the time, just with lighting, it's not oh, super, uh, like, I don't know how to say it, prevalent, I'm really bad with words, um, it's normally just around outlines, with maybe sometimes, like, a little, like, inside, um, maybe a little hair, but that's basically that, and then you just adjust the opacity, like you did with the shading layer. And so, you can delete this now. So that's basically what the cell shaded, you know, flat shading, that's basically how you do it. If you want to blend it, um, now I haven't really done this in Fire Alpaca, um, but I kind of fiddled with it. So what you're going to do is merge your shading layer first, and don't merge the lighting layer just yet. And then click the watercolor brush. Make sure it's it's just a lot easier if it's at a hundred and maybe around there. And then make it and ugh. select the color that's outside it. You can hide the light lighting layer too if you want. And just you know it'll. It looks a, r a bit rough, but you just gotta keep selecting the color and just. And if you zoom out, it looks better. Um. Uh, if you want to lock, it won't go outside if you click lock. Oh wait, no, that's different. Okay, it's different than this, but it pr protect alpha will make it so nothing goes outside of. But then you basically just do that. You do you blend it in, um, like this, like so. Make sure it's not too rough, like just that. You gotta make sure it blends out. Make sure the colors blend out. Um, speed this up. It, it, look, it looks pretty okay, you know, blend it in, looks a bit nicer, it looks fine still, like, it looked fine still, even if it was just, um, flat, but after that, you're just gonna take your lighting layer, merge it down, um, and do the same thing. I don't know, keep in mind, this is probably not even that good advice, because, sheesh, yeah, because I don't usually use this, so just keep that in mind, and don't forget to experiment on your own, don't go solely off of this, because, 
this is not the best. Um, you basically just you know do this. And that's that. It's, you know, there's a nice shaded lapis. Alright, so once you're done with the shading and everything, uh, you see how this canvas is really big? You, If you want, you can do, I think this one? No, it's not this one. It's this one. Select. So this is what's selected, that's how big you it'll be. And then select no. Canvas size. Fuck, I am really bad at this. And No. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm not used to this. I tried using the ellipses tool, the this thing, the select tool, and it doesn't work like it does in uh, size. So basically, instead of that, you're just gonna click edit and canvas size and just edit it. So the width is one two eight zero. Just make it like. See, it'll give you a preview of how big it is. I want it to be like 400, no, 500. And the height will be like... Six hundred. And then you can merge this and just select it and Mm. Um, hold on, let me play with this for a minute. Uh, select, transform, and then just move it. Uh, control or command D is to get rid of the select, and then there's the cropped picture and that. And then if you want to add a background, just I mean, normally in more complicated paintings, I just do the background first, and I'm really bad at backgrounds, but in simple things like this, if you just want to make a background, just after doing it, just make a layer and move it to the bottom. And if you want to name it background, just put BG. It's easier that way. And then, you know, you can, you can do a... I don't know what this is. <laughs> you could do a gradient... So like, this is the background color, and then this is the other color, and you can just do that. You know, it looks kind of nice. Uh, for lapis, we'll do like a purple and a blue. See, that looks nice. You can lower the opacity. Uh, I don't know. You could also... You know, you could also do this stuff, play with this stuff, but you know, whatever you're happy with. And then, 
lower the opacity. And that's basically how it's done. Like, if you want, you can copy this and then make it white. You know, sometimes I do stuff like that. And then make it bigger. And there's like a little shadow thing. I can change the opacity of that. But you know, there's that. And always remember to sign your work so people don't steal it. Because some people don't respect art artists and steal their art and repost it without crediting them. And it's in the ass. Normally I just sign with my name and the date. You know, my, my, uh, my username. And that's basically how you do it. Uh, next time I'll probably, well, if, if, if that's okay, I'll probably maybe cover animation in this. Because that's actually pretty easy with the um, onion skin mode. Uh, but, you know, that's basically my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and hope it helped. Because I know I'm really bad at this stuff.